Welcome to Becoming a Cook. I'm Charlie Wetzel. Today I want to teach you how to roast butternut squash. It's a great accompaniment. We often use this instead of doing potatoes or rice with a meal, and I think you'll really like it. So I've already cleaned this butternut squash. If you want to see how to do that, then click on this video. I've got the main body of it left to cut up, and I've got this piece where I've cleaned it. With this one, I'm just going to start off by cutting that into crescents. And this I'm going to cut into pieces, uh, probably about three quarters of an inch. I'd like them to be fairly uniform. And with these, what I typically do is I try to cut this into three pieces. I'm getting the center ones like this, and the others are half moons. From here, I just want to cut this into pieces. Those probably into, into fourths. These I'll cut into kind of triangular shapes. The shape doesn't have to be uniform, but I do want the size to be pretty uniform because they're gonna roast and you want them to cook at about the same speed. These kind of funky shaped ones, I just wanna cut them so that they're gonna be about the same size as the other ones that I cut. I'm gonna use a sheet pan and put all these on it. And from here, I'm just gonna drizzle some olive oil. And because these are dense and not porous, they really don't absorb any oil. So you don't need a lot. So if you just give it a little bit, and then give it a good toss so that you're getting olive oil on all of these. That's all you need to do. And then from there, salt and pepper. I like a coarse ground sea salt. That's, that's my favorite for this, but any kind of salt will do. And coarse ground pepper. Now, if, if you want something in addition to just the butternut squash flavor, uh, to give it a kind of a perfume, you can take some fresh rosemary leaves and just sprinkle those in here too and it really gives a nice flavor to them. What's really great about this is I'm done with the cooking. The rest is in the oven. I've got my oven up as high as it'll go. For this oven, it's 500 degrees. And I'm gonna turn convection on because that gets it even hotter. The squash have been in about seven minutes. I wanna pull them out and check them. You'll notice I removed my board because you don't want to put something hot on a board because it can damage it. So I'm looking to see, this is what I want to see. I want to see this color underneath here. So some of these have decent color and some don't. A set of tongs is great uh, for stirring this. If you don't own a set of tongs, you can use a spoon. You don't want to break them up and you want to move them around. Ideally, you'd have every one of these brown surfaces facing up, but who's got time to, to do that with every single one? I'm going to give these another seven minutes, and hopefully they'll be tender by then and ready to go. So I actually let this go nine minutes because I looked at it at seven and it wasn't quite ready. I'm on the verge of being a, almost overdone because some of these are a little bit dark, but I think I'm okay. The thing with butternut squash is you want some color and you want it to be tender. I'm planning to serve this with ribs tonight, but we'll do this with as a side uh, with chicken or with a pork tenderloin. It's really good. Even if you're not a squash lover, I recommend that you give this a try because it's got a really nice flavor and it's pretty low in calories. Thanks for joining us on Becoming a Cook.